Yeah, okay. Uh, thank you very much, uh, uh, Cora. Um Look, I'm delighted to get a chance to speak about uh, the electoral uh, amendment bill here uh, this evening, uh, the four minutes that I have. Um, I think I was the only politician in, in, in Cork County, any definite that monster, that made a submission, uh, an open submission. And to be honest with you, I feel it was ignored. Uh, much to the detriment of, of, of much of the areas in West Cork that was, uh, that's, that's uh, put into North Cork. And, um, you know, West Cork population has proven in the last since uh, has grown. So I was expecting that, and, uh, and of course if I had to listen to rumours, I, I, said, I said to someone one day that the only place I'd be left was Goline, that I'd be able to stand in, because the whole, they were going taking uh, a part of this part, and they were taking Castletown Bay, and they were going taking Kinsale, and they were going to take, there was going to be a bit left. Uh, but thankfully, um, at least those areas were left us. And it, I, will, it, I will welcome the fact that county boundaries were respected. That was hugely important. That's a very strong point a lot of people made to me. Um, they were going forward. But very disappointingly, when you look at an area like Balladine and Inneskeen, now anybody that knows West Cork knows that that's one town. It's astonishing to think that half of it is split now down the middle. One half is represented by Cork North and the other Cork, Cork Southwest. Balanine by Cork Southwest, Cork North by uh, Inneskeen. And the people of Inneskeen continuously come to me uh, for issues, and I welcome them with open arms because that's, as far as they're concerned, our Cork Southwest. Castletown Kenna, Newsestown, and North of Dunmanway. I was very strong in my submission that those areas would be looked at and brought back into West Cork, their homeland, that's where they, that's they, where they know. They tell me themselves, no disrespect to all the politicians, they don't know the politicians in that area and they don't know association with them. And it is a sad situation that nobody listened to their call. This, that wasn't, this decision was not made by this commission, I, I respect that, but it, it was made by the previous commission, but it should have been put right by this commission. Good God almighty, how can you split the town down the middle? It don't make any sense whatsoever, Minister, and it has to be reluctant. And I plead with you, on behalf of the, of the people of Inneskeen, who are not in my constituency, but want to be in Cox Southwest constituency, I plead with you to stand up for them and to give them that right and to give the, uh, the, 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 the only respect that they could ever get is to be at one with the same town, uh, which happens to have a slightly different name, Bellanine. Um, it's an astonishing situation. I mean, so I would like you to come down and see both towns, where they sit, how they, they're joined together, but they're split apart politically. And that's a wrong decision made by the Electoral Commission. And you have to try and put that right uh, before you, you'll see this, uh, this through, uh, through the door. As I said, um, the population of West Cork has, uh, has grown. I would like a, a very more, a more detailed, because if that's if somebody makes a submission, the least that person gets is a very detailed uh, um, reply as to why. Uh, in a scheme, why Castleton Kenya, why Newsestone, why North of Dunmanway were, were, were uh, left in a constituency that they feel completely un unattached to. I think that's very, very important that at least have the respect to, to reply to the, uh, to the deputies uh, that, that do uh, push for the people that ask me to do that. There's a lot of people here talking about boundaries. Oh yeah, just one other thing is that someone on the Boundary Commission was on the radio one day when they was asked about West Cork because they knew I was quite frustrated. They said, it was a bit like Cuba. It's is almost impossible to start out the map, map of Cuba, but okay, it is well spread out, there's no doubt about it, from Castle down Bear to the north to Kinsale, uh, down south, and then you have uh, from Inishan to Goleen. I accept that, but every area can be looked at, looked at fairly, if time is given, and, and if, if the proper uh, understanding was there, and I just think sometimes that maybe electrical commission is made up of, I, I, I hate to say, uh, well, I won't, um, but maybe city-based people that don't understand rural Ireland, and this, pro this definitely is the situation here, because if somebody comes out and says it's like Cuba and we just couldn't handle it, there's something wrong somewhere. So these areas should have been added. Just, we, we, we must also, there's a lot of talk here about posters. In my view, it's either everyone who have posters or don't have posters. It's one or the other, we can't have it in the middle of the road because it's not going to work that way. And you know, I just look at town councils, it's an area that we should have more discussion on because Clannacilty as a town council continues to have a town council, even though uh, town councils were abolished, and we need to bring some town councils back in there again to Thank work you, for local democracy. Thank you.